Hi everyone, today I'm going to be colouring this flower here. This is um, again from the flower wreath from World of Flowers and it's in Johanna Basford's 2021 Weekly Planner which is the copy that I've got. You can see the date coming through there. Now I'm going to cover colour this as a chrysanthemum. There are lots of different this could be some sort of daisy as well but I've decided to do it in that way and I'm going to do it in orange, red and yellow so it might not be too much yellow it might be more orangey red so I just thought it would be fun to do a few different colours so I'm going to start with number 29 I'm using my um, Stedler Erga Softs again today and I'm going to start right near the middle of the flower on the edge of these petals and pop a bit of red here. Now the colour on the petals is going to graduate out from red to orange with a very light orange on the tips or maybe even a yellow. I'll see how, how it takes me but I'm just starting with this dark colour along here. Now I'd also find that this center will be very dark as well and I'm thinking maybe just the ends of each of these little bits that are underneath. Not because the petal would necessarily be that dark but because of the shadow that would be thrown from the petal above it would be quite dark. So I'm just filling those in. Now here, you see I've gone over the lines here. These are quite small. So I'm going to colour over this centre bit without worry. And then as I get towards these slightly bigger ones, I'm just going to try and do the edge. But you see I'm not, I can't do each petal one at a time. It'll be too tricky. So I'm just doing a bit of a line to give an indication of, of a, a bit darker on the middle parts of the petals. Now this bit here I'm a bit confused by. I reckon there's a particular type of flower that has this bit coming out of it and uh, I don't know what it is. I'm just going to leave it for now and probably do it in a lighter colour so it stands out. So I think that'll do for our red and then I'm just going to move through my tin. So my next colour is number two which is the darkest orangey colour. So I'm just going to move to that and I'm going to take this red up the petal a little. I'm going over the top of the red and then trying to use a circular motion to pull the colour gradually up the petal. I don't want to um, make it look too defined a line from one colour to the next. So I'm using this a darker, a harder pressure towards the centre and less as I go out and putting more layers towards the middle. Now in my picture the well, they're, they're all about the same colour, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit here to here and here, not much. So I want this one to be these to be fairly light. And in here, I'm going to add a fair bit of this colour. We've still got room for a little bit of a lighter one. In places. I'm going to keep it fairly dark. There we go. Okay, now moving on to the number 24. This is a very neon vibrant orange. And I'm going to go all over this. Look at this one. Now, if this was much bigger, we could do a much more defined graduated shading on it but it's very fine particularly on this diary version which is smaller than the original so we can just do this whereas you could 
pay more attention to the small details like we are with these larger petals if you wanted to. You see I'm using a similar technique to before. I'm actually using a liney method up and down rather than um, this round and round scumbling method. There's so much movement going on upstairs it's distracting me a bit. I'm wondering whether the children have given up on their schoolwork or not. I'll have to go and check on them in a bit I think. Um, I'm not going to add any of this to the bottom petals. I want them to stay lighter. Now we're going for number four. So you can see we're quickly moving along the colours in the box, getting slowly lighter. Now I keep the colours in my tin in order so it makes it a little bit easier when I'm grabbing one and I want to find the next shade because they're in the right order already. I know some people leave theirs a bit more higgledy piggledy. I can't remember where I started. I think that's right. And I'm going to do a bit of this one on these. Just a touch. Gosh, it's quite distracting having my tablet beside me, which I'm using to uh, look at the pictures. Um, I keep seeing notifications coming up of people posting in Facebook groups that I'm in. Right, we're going to move on to the number 42. This is the sort of lighter, lightest orange, although there's a sort of peachy colour as well. And we're going to take this quite far towards the end, trying not to leave a harsh line. You see I'm going back over some of the uh, colour that I've done. Oh, I've just remembered what the children are doing. They've got a PE lesson. So they're probably running up and down the room or on the exercise bike. <gasps> I said they could, I said they ought to do a little bit of PE, but don't have to do too much. We shouldn't really go outside if we don't feel the need to, to go for a walk or anything. So they're, uh, that they wanted a bit of a break from their academic work. Right, so I'm going to miss out the peachy colour, where am I, yes, and go in for the number 11, which is the yellow. And I'm going to take this right to the tip, and I'm going to go over the whole of the petal to try and make it look more vibrant, and to blend in all those colours. Yeah, they're a little unsure about work at the minute. Their uh, their GCSEs have potentially been cancelled. Um, we we're expecting an announcement today, and then school will let us know what they're going to do from then on. Um, yeah, I know that you you know already more than I do because this video will be going out probably a week or more later than when the, when I recorded it. But the uncertainty is difficult for them, especially as they haven't done any mocks, so they've got, and they didn't do any summer exams either because of schools being shut. They've got no results to base their grades on, so they're quite worried. But their school is fabulous. It's trying to look after them and keep them calm and give them plenty of work to occupy them. Now I'm going to do this in this colour. There we go. So that's the main part of the flower. Ooh. And there are some leaves here, but I think these are part of these daisies, which I'm going to do in a separate video. Um, so I'm just going to leave it there, I think. So there's that one. I, I had lots of fun with that one. I love the vibrant colour. It actually looks far more neony on the video than it does in front of me here. But uh, but I still think it's a great colour. And uh, so there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you very much for watching and happy colouring.